Whew. What's up guys? My name's Trevor. Today's going to be a really short vlog. Um, sort of. I've, I'm going to read the day-by-day -day devotion with you. And I have some very important news. First off, let's roll the intro. Because it's, the, it's a very important part of today. So, roll that intro. Before we dive into our devotion, I just want to mention that I'm not feeling too good. My voice is kind of here and there, so I apologize. <laughs> and second, well, first, after first, because this is like top priority. My brother Dylan, who has been on some of our vlogs, and um, he, he's not doing too well right now. And, uh, you know, it's the Griffin thing in us to... Oh man, I don't need help. I don't want to ask for help. I don't want to bother anybody. But I'm asking y'all for some help. So in the description of this video, there is a link to a GoFundMe that I set up for my brother Dylan. And we're asking we're asking for prayers most most first and foremost, prayers, prayers, prayers. Because there is power in prayer and there God hears us and He He works through us. Now secondly we're asking for donations because this is a very um, unexpected and it, it needs done right now, but financially is is going to be a struggle, and that's where donations come in. So we have the GoFundMe link. If you can donate, even if it's a dollar, even if it's ten dollars, if you can donate a hundred dollars, th thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm so happy and filled with joy that God has blessed you to be able to do so. No matter if it's a dollar or a hundred, I appreciate it. I know, I know he appreciates it and our entire family appreciates it. So, real quick with what's going on is that he has, um, there's something in his neck that, oh, it's his tumor. He's got a tumor in his neck that is closing his trachea. And so he can't breathe, so like it's closing his airway, and he needs an emergency surgery. So right now he's actually on his way to another hospital to have that uh, procedure done. And as you guys know, my brother is is a family man. He's got a wife and beautiful kids, and he's trying. We're trying to help take care of them all because our hospital here in hutch cannot can't do anything so they they drove all the way to wichita and they actually got sent to another hospital from there too so anything you guys can do from praying to donating if you're local and you have donations that you would rather just hand um give to me whether that's writing a check or um giving me cash to give to them I will guarantee make sure that that money goes straight to them and that they are able to use that for whatever needs they need they're gonna they're gonna need because I know they're gonna have medical bills they're gonna have traveling potential hotel stays like it just we don't really know um, but in these times we thank God and we thank all of you for helping even a prayer, uh, even that that little prayer of Lord be with the family, Amen. It, it's amazing. It's amazing. So now let's dive on in to our book real quick. Cohen's gonna show you how fast he can run. Without my shoes. Okay, without his shoes, no shoes. I know I can run fast. Ready, set, go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen seconds. Whew, that was quick. Yeah, All right, so in our day by day devotions for dads, today's is get them thinking and talking. You don't have a, you don't have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. C.S. Lewis. 
is this idea from one of the greatest writers of the 20th 20th century too deep for your kids i bet they can handle it maybe dead it's too deep for you so let's kick it around for a moment here's what i am thinking a soul is what differentiates us from animals when the bible says we are created in the image of god it doesn't mean that god has two arms two legs green eyes and buck teeth i mean he has made us eternal beings capable of love creativity and rational thought we are souls at death we will be separated from our bodies, but as Christ's return, at Christ's return, we will be reunited with a glorified body. What that body consists of is the topic of much debate. Which brings me to one last point to kick around. In this context, you can probably interchange the word spirit with soul without upsetting the scholars. The fact that you are a soul or spirit should not be confused with the Holy Spirit, the member of the Trinity who came to guide believers after Jesus' time on earth. All that to say, now you're ready to have this conversation with your kids. Tell them. You know the devotionals for dads I'm reading? It quoted C.S. Lewis, and he said that humans are not bodies that have souls. Instead, we are souls that have bodies. What do you think? I'll ask the boys. What about you? Do you avoid these kind of conversations with your kids because you're not sure what to say? Your kids need to see that it is healthy to talk about God and stuff. Wrestling with spiritual truth with your kids can be a blast. I just want to go ahead and say that I absolutely love that my my kids come up and ask me questions that they that they've heard that they've heard from other people and honestly if I don't know just like if you guys were to ask me and I didn't know I would say you know what I don't know but how about we look into it let's find out let's go to the source let's pull up the Bible see what we can find let's dive in that that is a whole nother experience on its own so anyways I just want to thank you guys again so much. Please, please consider sending a prayer up tonight or sending a prayer up tomorrow, soon, continuously. Uh, also, consider donating to our GoFundMe for my brother Dylan. Uh, we, we're all very grateful and we, very, we, we appreciate it very, very, very much. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm glad that I'm able to hopefully use this platform to to help help my brother in a time like this and uh, honestly I know that he would do the same and so would any of the family so thank you guys so much have a great night God bless and we will see you tomorrow hopefully I feel a little better let's get it don't never give up God is here with you yeah you are a child nothing but love is true just got it fixed in view keep your eyes on the prize that's life everlasting only through jesus christ